as gender troops will no longer be considered medically unfit for military service. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker spoke about this change with our political analyst who has a military background. Francesca, she says there's a long way to go. There is still a long way to go. She actually mentioned something called the Uniform Code of Military Justice, and that's where everyone in the military abides by the rules, meaning respecting everyone who comes into the military, no matter who they are or what they are. And she tells me there are still a lot of barriers that transgenders will have to face if they go into the military. Americans who want to serve and can meet our standards should be afforded the opportunity to compete to do so. After all, our all-volunteer our, our all force is built upon having the most qualified Americans. And the profession of arms is based on honor and trust. That was Defense Secretary Ash Carter making history. When the Pentagon struck down its ban on transgender people being able to serve openly in the U.S. military Thursday afternoon, Carter said it was one of the last barriers to military service. I spoke over the phone with our political analyst, Jennifer Carroll, who served in the Navy for two decades. She asked questions about how this will move forward. The big question is going to be how then do they um, assimilate into the organization? Would they assimilate as a male or woman? And what uniform would they then have to use? On top of that, Carol says the military now has to prepare new rules to upgrade the new policy. The military will write policy as to how to comport yourself and, and, and all the rules and regulations that everyone will have to abide by. There'll be no discrimination. And if there is, you go to court martial, you'd be fine. Carol says more problems could arise when troops are fighting in the Middle East or places where being transgender can make a person a target. But for now, Carter says anyone who meets the standard will be accepted in the military regardless of who they are. If we in uniform are willing to die for that principle then we in uniform should be willing to live by that principle. And in the past few years, a lot of changes have been made. For instance, in January, a lot of the gender-based restrictions were lifted, allowing women to fulfill the combat roles. And again, here today, you hear that now transgenders can enter the military. For now, reporting live, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station. Francesca, thanks. The military has made many changes in the past few years. In January, all gender-based restrictions on military service were lifted. That cleared the way for women to take on combat roles. It was in 2011 that the military's ban ended on openly gay service members.